We have that first aid kit here. back at the bus. You want me to run back there? Tour buses have been the pinnacle of luxury when it comes to traveling on the road. It's a dream that many musicians and creatives have always wanted to experience, including myself. At this point in my career, I've had the chance to experience a good amount of one-offs and weekend warrior tour dates on tour buses. But I have never been on one as long as this one. Many artists in the industry rent buses because it's generally the same price or less than flying an entire crew for the entirety of a tour. This bus tour would be different than any other ones that I've been on because the artist that I'm touring with travels almost every single week of the year and decided to make an investment into their career and bought a tour bus. So for this tour, I'll be traveling with music artist Charity Gill and a new touring family experiencing new journeys, new music, and giving you a behind the scenes look at what life is like living on a tour bus. Going on a bus tour is pretty much like a normal tour with a few key differences. Most times when an artist is looking for a band, they look for musicians that are somewhat near their location, so traveling is simple. We all leave and return from the same place. Doing this with a bus is pretty much the same. The only difference is that instead of meeting at an airport, at a venue, or even at someone's house, we would go to some type of parking lot to where we can pull the bus up and also leave our cars. For this tour, our meetup location is Houston, Texas. So I'll be flying there from Nashville, Tennessee to start tour rehearsals. We've got Ryan Kennedy over here, putting in work. Getting things ready. He's kind of like the, I would say the, uh, what did you call it? The arm, what's the Swiss army knife Swiss army. of the of the whole tour. <laughs> Cam Cook is back, to the, made Cam it back the to the man. vlog. I'm back, y'all. We got Logan over what's here up? handling guitars. Yeah, we're gonna uh, be holding it down. We got brother Terry over here. What's up? I got that right, right, Terry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and another Swiss army knife right here for the tour, we're Sarah. We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Emily oh Hudson. She's here. You know the camera was coming out. <laughs> and then that, I guess we'd just start the click for endless praise, and then you'll just play it as written. So after a couple of days of rehearsal, we packed up our equipment and went to get some rest. All right, so we're preparing to load the bus. What do we got to load, Sarah? Um, let's see, what are we not loading? Because <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot. Okay, yeah. so all of these are um, Charity's new albums. Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have all of our t-shirts in our bins. They're all neatly sized and folded. All right, some more t-shirts, mm -hmm. posters that we are still working on. Look at this, Charity is Oh, that is sick, I haven't seen that. Yeah, more equipment, more equipment mm -hmm. up there, more equipment in the garage. Cool. Um, yeah. That's what's up. Now me and Ryan are about to go pick up the driver. Are you ready, Ryan? Let's do it. You always come down a day early. You know, so you can just take your time because if you don't, you're going to overlook something that is going to, you know, that needs to be addressed. Before we can get on the road, Brian needs to look over the bus to make sure that everything is working properly so we don't encounter many problems while we're on the road. Since Charity and Ryan own this bus, Brian took some extra time to show Ryan the ropes of basic maintenance for the bus. 
So this is the engine? Yeah. So oh, she's wow. running with green. You, you want, we're going to use green coolant. Okay. I never, I never even knew the engine was in the back. In the back, yep. Yeah. And that's the batteries? Right there. Those are the batteries. How's it feel to be the owner of a bus? Overwhelming. <laughs> So most tour buses are made up of three sections. The front lounge, the bunk area, and the back lounge. But for this bus, we've got a back bedroom instead. What you doing there, brother? I'm trying to get the toilet to work. Oh, why well, you got the door open? <laughs> I just took a big whiff of some. Oh, oh. oh God. See, this is why I just, bathrooms are off limits. Let's just say that. <laughs> Josh, you ready? So ready. <laughs> Lauren, ready. Lauren, ready. So we got three A <laughs> We have just three. Oh my gosh, three. Sarah. What? This is so much. No, no, no. This is literally one of the last things on the list. This is it. This, this literally is my last thing. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <gasps> what? I just need you up here so I can help me. Oh, What's the size? Yeah. Sarah? What? Are you awake? Barely. Barely. I, I got this bright light on your face. You really do. <laughs> Not. You're driving us this morning, so I want to make sure you're awake. We look like we're um gonna be gone for a month. Yeah, that's what that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh so we just got to the bus. We got our favorite guy Brian over here early morning. Coming at you live. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Hey, are you awake this morning, brother? I'm more than awake. You look like you're so excited. I'm so pumped. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think we're all so pumped. So as soon as we get on this bus, I'm going straight to sleep. So this is going to be hopefully glorious. I'm thinking if we put this straight in and then this one laid down on its side and it, it'll fit. And yeah, put it might be on its side. Yeah, we're going to have to. Did you say you were doing a camper mattress type Nope. Josh, what are you going to do? I was told. Um, I sleep on an air mattress, possibly, and that's where it, and that's where it uh, stopped. So we just got to our first destination. I think we're all just a little bit white. Are y'all? Are y'all a little bit white? Mm. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> we are in Alexandria. Are looking at the bus right now. Oh, really? Anyway, so we just got here and uh, we're about to load in. So let's do it. This is where Cam and Logan go to church. This is home base for us. Home base. Starting the tour off right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why they weren't with us before now. Oh, look who's here. We got Sister Bethany with us. <laughs> she just flew in all the way from Nashville. She said, I, I couldn't ride the bus the first day, so. <laughs> Man, Cam, I need, I need this set up, bro. You take up how many channels again? Seven or eight, one of those. Seven or eight. <laughs> Just for your, your one setup. Running the Nord sounds. Um, also going MIDI to the laptop to run Omnisphere for Keys 2 stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you have Keys 2 like as a separate channel? Right, so that's, what, that's coming out of the Apollo. And then I'm going straight out of the Nord into the house, so. But you're just literally, but you're still using just one keyboard. Correct, right. So everything I play for Keys 1 is also going MIDI to this for Keys 2, so. Wow. 
Kind of killing guys. two birds with one stone. That's a really, and what's the second computer over here for? That is for all the tracks. It, it, all the tracks? All the stems. Oh, you, you have them all set up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. we should be a lot better tonight. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 what do we have here? Oh, is this, is this Emily coming in clutch? Is Emily coming in clutch? Got you a refresher. Oh, look at, oh, thank you. See, this you have good people on the team like this. Oh, this, no. This is. The album dropped today. Woo. It dropped today. It sounds so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's a little what? surreal. Did it, get, did it go to number two last night? It did. <gasps> yeah, it's at number nine. At, in all genres right now. No, it went to number it's nine? Top 10. What? I, I had no idea. Uh, me neither. Oh. I woke up this morning I was like, what? On our first tour stop, we are all having to learn what our setup task will be for every show, while also learning the structure for each show day. Usually our first stop is where we work out most of the kinks that will help us for the rest of the tour. So most times on tour buses, you leave at night and sleep while you're driving to your destination. Uh, so right now we're getting ready to leave. Uh, it's like 11 o'clock at night and we're gonna be driving through the night, which I actually don't think it's a very long drive, but we're just leaving late at night so we can sleep while we're on our way there and sleep while we're there and then wake up and we're already at our destination. That's that's the one of the greatest things about you know, doing things on a tour bus and traveling on a tour bus is that you could sleep and wake up there. I feel like bus driving, it's, it's one of those things that you, you have to switch your schedule, like, because you have to sleep in the daytime mm -hmm. and you're driving at night all the time. Yeah. At first it was hard. Yeah. At first it was hard, but then as the years went on, I wouldn't change it for the world. Really? Yeah. Oh. I've met some really cool people. And you guys are like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just run another one right on the checklist, you know oh, what I mean? Awesome. Does anyone feel like they're on the Titanic trying to get out? <laughs> oh my gosh, how many people do we have on here? <laughs> <laughs> so long. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. You literally do not have permission. Bye. 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 Is this a wise thing we do to have this many people on the bus? I mean, that's what it's designed for. <laughs> <laughs> Explain this again. What did you? What did y'all find up under Logan? Logan's well, so Logan's mattress. What did you think it was? We were putting on the mattress cover. We lift up the mattress, and I think it's an eye mask. And I think he's hit the jackpot. And if it's an eye mask, it's a really big eye mask with two slits in it that your two legs slits. go through. <laughs> Thankfully, you're short. So uh, you can store stuff at your feet. <gasps> no, you cannot do that. <laughs> Everybody's waiting right. to get in their bunks. We're waiting on Oh Bethany. my God, you guys are waiting. The whole bus is waiting on Bethany. We're all waiting on you, Bethany. Three hours later. Oh my gosh, is she still on this Bethany. pillow? I mean, now Bethany, all you gotta do is you just gotta jump. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, she, and she magically got in. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Keep going. Wow. See, that's how the pros that's do it. He's, wow, that's impressive. This is going to be. Wow. Okay, slide. Oh, t technique. Emily's just kind of waiting for me to get in my box. So we're having to blow up an air mattress for Josh uh, because we don't really have a bunk for him. Whose fault is that? I didn't buy the bus. So. <laughs> We're in, where are we at? Woodlawn Church in Columbia, Mississippi. Columbia, Mississippi. We're all dead, tired. <laughs> Nobody wants to go. Wow. So, Cam, what's the issue right now? What did we just find out? Gosh, apparently AC's no go. 
something wrong. I don't even know the full story, but uh, what? Yeah, Emily. What's up, guys? Okay, spill the tea. Spill you know the what's tea. what's going on? It's hot in the bus. <laughs> like what, what? When you say hot, what do you mean by hot? Um, and stuff. Chocolate is melting. Uh, the chocolate is melting. So Ryan, what's going what's going on with the bus? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the temperature on the bus right now? I haven't been on it in like an hour, so I'm not sure. I know they put all the chocolate and all the candy stuff in the fridge. <laughs> oh, did they really? Because it was melting. Good. Oh, is that hot? <laughs> yeah. I'm finding this out right now. <laughs> Can you tell us about what happened last night? I can't tell you much. I can tell you, uh, I can't tell you the why, but I can tell you the what. So what exact? Can you can you explain what what exactly happened? This happened. <laughs> that happened. It just went silent. It did. And that was when. I don't think my camera caught it whenever it happened, but. That's when I had to change my underwear. <laughs> so. What what happened with the AC? We're trying to, I mean. Oh, well, this morning um, I heard a pop on the bus and then uh -huh. all the air stopped. <laughs> like all of it, it went <laughs> And so we've been trying to figure out how to get the AC working mm -hmm. because we need air <laughs> yeah. in the bus. Ryan uh, took our amazing bus driver, Brian, to go and fix it. And they did. We have <laughs> air. Thank yes. you, Jesus. <laughs> turns the ACs off. So as we're loading in, just make sure nothing hits that, okay? What, where, what? Right here, right here. Oh. There's two little latches. I'm not gonna oh. touch them. <laughs> oh my God, delete that <laughs> Are you getting pain pills? Uh, yep. You tired of us? Well, I wouldn't word it like that, but... really <laughs> well. <laughs> That's just if that happened, it would take $600 to fill it up. 600 yes, Oh my god. Guys, I think I'm in a better mood because I know we have two days off. I have a wow. question. Um, whenever they're checking us in, do you think I could get out at that time and go into the hotel room? How do you want to get out, Bethany? Yeah. Have you ever tried sleeping wow. in a coffin? So on most short and long-term tours, we get off days to give our brains a break from playing music and setting up day in and day out. But in the midst of this, we had a problem. Our tour manager fell and broke her finger. We have that first aid kit back at the bus. You want me to run back there? Mm. <laughs> you so you literally popped your finger back in? Uh, totally oh my gosh, you're a you're legit a, like <laughs> you're a boss so for doing big. this. <laughs> All of this was like completely bent. Viewer <gasps> <gasps> oh discretion is advised. We almost. I wonder if there's like a Walmart we could go get a splint. I was thinking like CVS. CVS is yeah. probably in the mall. I'm all, uh, <laughs> Oh. Let's do this. It's, it's, literally, the whole line was like, oh, oh dang, that girl just like, what? I was like, concerned and Travis saw an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> he did have an internal struggle. And I was, I hit, I hit the she nail did on the head. She did see Travis it. Travis is over there. He's like, like in his should mind, I should, should I? He was like, <laughs> <laughs>
Good morning. <laughs> what you got there? Muffin, bacon. Oh, you egg. got a whole breakfast up in this Got some night. protein. All right, we gotta go to the best out here, so let's go. Do you just need a hook? No, it, it's completely off the, the yeah. hanger. Yeah. Do I need to call um, Prevo Roadside? Hey, and we're gonna have to do something, that's for sure, because we can't drag it on down there. Hey, would this work just to get us off the road? It's pretty hot, ain't it? First thing off, right <laughs> off the bat. Let's try this again, everybody. So what, what just happened with the bus? The hydraulics didn't go up. Mm. Um, at first, so we went to go around a curb, which obviously, if you see, you can get over a curb, but uh -huh. that's not where it was. So I think that impact made the exhaust pipe drop down. <gasps> so then we were scraping along the highway with an exhaust pipe. Yikes. But they're coming, they're gonna fix it. Review about Chili's you know, and about them closing early. Is that, oh, here, here you are. It was like 10:30. We're starving. We've gone to like everywhere to eat. So hungry. Emily, call. Are you go inside, Emily? First off, as we're walking up, they lock the doors. Okay. We can see you locking us out, <laughs> and it's still open. So it was like 10:30, 10:35. Emily goes in and like asks, like, oh. hey. Um, can we do at least to go orders and whoever she spoke to said of course of course so she lets us in and then we get inside and they're just like no we can't we can't help you and, so, and I left a review it says same script different cast why do restaurants have an official closing time but close the kitchen and or stop taking new guests 30 minutes before they close one would think restaurants wouldn't turn down business. Laziness on display. <laughs> wow. What's happening here? We're just waiting on the bus to hit the road. Oh. Uh, Charity's oh, back God. there, right? Yeah. Oh, y'all look so comfy. How's it feel up there, guys? It's good. <laughs> I can't tell you how great it feels. Tell me about it. I literally can't tell you. Oh, wow. Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Get up there and try it out. I don't want to yeah, you're dead. Oh. So what's what's going on? What do you what do you uh. <laughs> smells really bad. <laughs> do you not smell that? Oh yeah, I smell it. Ow. I'm just taking it right now. My throat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what's going on? Why 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 are we getting the smell? This has been something that's been kind of consistent. I don't know. Oh. We're gonna have to figure it out. I think the smell's coming from maybe the ducks of the AC vent because it's been sitting for so long. Mm. The things that you have to understand about doing any type of bus tour is that things will happen that are not planned at many points, but you just have to push through and have fun along the way. You're excited to have Brother Darrell with us. I'm excited! <laughs> Say that again? You said it sounded outstanding? Is that the first time we've I mean, heard this? I am running sound, so... <laughs> We can make this a game, you guys. How? Let's make lemonade. Let's have a <laughs> hold your breath contest. No. Let's do it. I'll do it. You do? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? I love how we're 12 years old. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> a really special moment that happened on tour was being able to participate in a worship night at Charity and Ryan's prayer house in Houston, Texas called Gather House.
where people from all walks of life gather to worship together. As we wrap up the final shows of the tour, I learned something very special that I'll never forget. The relationships that are made on a tour bus for this long runs quite a bit deeper than most tours. Leaving this tour, I felt like I was leaving relatives or cousins that I grew up with. Because when you go through times of stress, times of emotion, times of fun, you get back a lifetime of unforgettable memories. Okay, high school musical drama, three, two, one. Happy annual praise tour. Cannon. Praise tour. Endless praise tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to support this channel, feel free to check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. I'll see you next time. One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha.